welcome to another Bee Fly Crochet tutorial. So today I will talk to you about all the information that you have on a yarn label. You have so much information and it's really, really useful for your work that you want to do. So I have this uh, tag. This is from Woolies. So uh, it's Lion Brand Woolies. And if you go back, you will have a lot of information. First, here you have the weight and the yardage. So if you are making a shawl or a garment and you want to have information about it, you can go there. And if you look at this one, this is from uh, Will Like from Loops and Threads. You have also here the information on the yardage and the uh, weight. So uh, after that, you have the uh, this logo, which is the weight of yarn that you have. And here it's also there. So, so that is useful because if you have a yarn, let's say it's a, any worsted or any DK yarn that you uh, can substitute, you can look here and you will see what it, uh, what kind of yarn and you can substitute it. Then you have this information, which is really, really important. So you have those two sign. The first one is if you do, um, if you use for a sw if you do a swatch four inch by four inch or 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, you will need in knitting 18 stitch and 24 row using a eight or five millimeters uh, needles. If you do it with crochet, you will have 13.2 stitches by 16 row using a J or a 10, uh, 6 millimeters. But if you go here with uh, this one, you just have it for knitting. So if you use a 2.75 millimeters, you will need a US 2, 32 stitch and 42 rows. So that is the normal stitch. And since everybody's gauge is different, that is how you know. This is normally what is supposed to be, but you can be a little bit, you can have 34 stitch for 10 centimeters, or you can have 30 stitch. It's depend on how you knit or crochet. Then you have the fiber content. So this yarn is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. And if we go here, it's written here, it's 85% acrylic and 15% nylon. So it varies from one yarn to the other. And this will have an impact on the drape, on how it will fit, and also on how you need to wash them. So you have all the information about washing and you have it also here it's written out where it's made it's also written it's here on fold so here and you also have the sign for the washing so you have a lot a lot of information on tags and you need to read them carefully to make sure that if you want to make a uh, something that has a specific gauge, you can go and see between there, but it's not the same. You always need to do a gauge swatch, but you can have some information on your ta uh, yarn label. So I hope that you liked this tutorial and you found it helpful. If you have any question, please feel free to contact me or write them down below in the comment section. And while you are there, if you wanna subscribe, I will really appreciate it. Until next time, happy making!